What you guys understand is each branch of our U.S. military has their own call or cadence that's specific unto them, and that's how the Army communicates. I learned that shit when I first got the bag. Yeah. Army? That's different. Now that's the Army. The Marines is different. The Marines? Yeah! The motherfuckers are crazy. <laughs> Good morning, riders. It's me, Shahira, the Big Boat Rider, and today is day seven for me on the Carnival Conquest. Technically, it's day three of the three-day leg of this cruise because I did take a back-to-back. -back. I did a four-day cruise and then a three-day cruise. And I'm still sad because I don't want to leave tomorrow. But I got to do what I got to do. Today, this morning, uh, well, afternoon, technically, I'm going to go ahead and go upstairs and catch some sun rays and tan again before I leave. I'm going to go to the Serenity Deck and chill out up there for a couple of hours or so. And then I just got a lot of flash day stuff to do, like packing and uh, laundry, because I still never did the laundry, y'all. <laughs> I just ain't felt like it, but I, I don't really have a choice today, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. And then have a fun night of festivities for one more round before we leave. So yes, I got to catch that finale comedy show. I'm not really sure what else besides that finale comedy show that's going on. So I got to check out the planner and see what else that I'm going to do. But this one has been like very freestyle, right? I haven't had like too many plans or excursions or anything like that. Um, I also, you know, obviously decided not to get off at Nassau today. Positive that I'll be back here. I've been here like 10 times already. So. It is a little cloudy out there. So, but oh well, at least it's not raining right now. But I did hear it is supposed to rain as well. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and head upstairs. Uh, and here we go, the beautiful Nassau, Bahamas. I'm not getting off the ship today, but usually I get off the ship and go to an all-inclusive beach resort and have a good time. I definitely recommend that if you're coming through. Look at the seascape. I was just on you in October, girl. I had a great time on seascape. If you got a cruise coming up on her, y'all gonna have a great time beautiful all right so this is my relaxation spot for the day but i'm about to go hop in that hot tub gorgeous views a hot tub almost all to myself so relaxing like what more could i ask for seascape still in a way bye seascape I would definitely go on her again. She's beautiful on there. And they service nice too. Not like the Maravilla in, in NYC. They a hot mess. They should take some notes from Seascape and Davina. Davina's nice too. One thing that I can tell you for certain is that on a sea day, you would never get this hot tub by yourself like this. It's a celebrity ship. I've never been on Celebrity before. I would love to go on one. Jason is having time with him up in the life. I tell you right now. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm signing up next week for the kind of questions. And I get up home and I have friends when I ask them, I'm going to tell them, fuck what you heard. <laughs> Hey, whatever you do, lesbian or not lesbian, you gotta keep it. You gotta keep it moving. You gotta keep it, you know, stimulated, right? You gotta keep it. You, you gotta keep the foreplay. I don't care if you're gay or straight, whatever. The fuck, foreplay is a, is a key component in making a woman feel happy. This is male and female shit. This is me talking about male and female. This is fellas. Foreplay is a key component. A lot of men have no idea how foreplay can fucking work. 
Young men have no idea how poor play, especially young kids. They have no, how old are you, bro? 25? You know what foreplay is? What's foreplay, Tay Tay? You gotta massage it? I'm gonna tell you what your father should tell you. You're fucking retarded. You don't. You don't. Even the lesbians are laughing. Tay Tay, let me say this. If your woman's mind is stimulated mentally, anything you do to her, <sighs> look at April, she just came twice. If your woman, <laughs> real talk, fellas, if your woman's mind is stimulated mentally, that's all the foreplay you need. Women don't give a fuck about physicality. Men are all physical. Men get excited over anything physical. Men can get visually, we don't give a fuck. You could come on, fellas, your wife could be fucking, have an army helmet on, in adult diapers, screaming, like, what's going on, bitch? I have a fucking PTSD and I can't stop shitting. Get naked, I'll put this out. Give me a fuck. Fuck the car, behind the car, Anyhow, look. Women don't give a women see hot men every day. That's nothing new to a woman. That does nothing for her. Because when a woman sees a man who's hot, that's okay. But as soon as a man opens his mouth and says some dumb shit, she's like, bitch, I'm dry as fuck. You know what? You need to shut the fuck up. Every time you talk, my pussy gets drier. It looks like a prune now. Say another word, a tumbleweed's come out of pussy. And believe me, fellas, you don't want no tumbleweed pussy. That's like some spaghetti western pussy. You don't want <laughs> no man wants some dry ass spaghetti western pussy. That's the last thing that would turn you on, fellas. You come into the bedroom, your girlfriend's on the back, that ass naked. All you hear is. Good, the bad, the dehydrated. You don't want that shit. Hey writers, so I just got back from a comedy show and it was a funny AF as usual. So I always enjoy the comedy club. It's one of my favorite things to do on a ship, especially Carnival, because Carnival does usually have funny comedians. But yes, I am finishing my packing now. I still have some stuff in the dryer because yes I did do laundry I utilize the laundry room they also sell the detergent in there it's not really the best detergent so if you do plan on doing laundry on a ship yourself just make sure you bring a little you know supply of your own uh, laundry detergent yeah that's if you are willing to do laundry on vacation most people are not but some people who do a back-to-back -back like me or side by side or you know what I mean? Things like that. They'll want to do laundry. It's a lot less expensive than having the cruise line do it for you because it's $3.50 to wash and $3.50 to dry. If you need to buy detergent, it's $2. So that's not too bad. And sadly, yes, this is the last day. I'm still sad, but I am excited to go home to see my boo. I haven't seen him all week Ugh. and I miss him dearly. So I am happy about that and I'll have to book a, a cruise just for me and him, right? So 
uh, that we can get some time on the sea together. I don't know when yet, but I don't go too long without booking another cruise. It <laughs> seems like I cruise every two to three months. So yes, I am looking for something for the summer. And of course I do have my Halloween cruise coming up. I also am choosing Carnival out of Long Beach, California um, on a seven day going to Cabo. So I am so excited about that. Halloween cruises are absolutely my favorite. All right, y'all. So I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Happy birthday to me again. Thank y'all so much for sticking it with me throughout the vlog series. If you have not taken a look at the ship tour, you definitely should take a look at that if you're interested in seeing what the ins and outs look like for the Carmel Conquest. If you have a cruise coming up on it, y'all are gonna have a ball. It is the funnest Carmel cruise ship that I've been on so far, and I've been on a few of them. So, again, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up packing, and this is gonna be the last video for the vlog series for the Carnival Conquest for 2024 B-Day, number 39. I love y'all. Please subscribe and like this video, and have a great week. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye! psych <laughs> okay real quick y'all i just wanted to show y'all what the deparkation process looks like you stand in a line to get skinned off the ship then you go stand in another line to get skinned out of the port then i just got a really inexpensive shuttle to the airport and that was it thanks again y'all for watching i love you see you next cruise day bye